Hey guys, so, um, it's Simon Curry's fangirl here. Y'all are probably wondering why I haven't uploaded a video in so long. Well, for personal reasons. I've been having a lot of problems with my family, someone I haven't talked to in a week. Um, it's someone in my family. He's finally talking to me again. That makes me happy. And, um... I've been seeing my therapist a lot, and I have a lot of mental health issues that I don't want to talk about. Uh, anyway, let's play some Nintendogs. So, I'm going to show you how to get rare items and stuff, like the knit hat I have here. And, um, do I saw the silver clock? Yes. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. I like the marble clock more, though, but that's okay. Okay, so, um, I'm going to show you how to get rare items and stuff in the game. Um, for starters, you need to have a lot of trainer points, for one. And, um, you also have to keep your dog happy by showing it a lot of love and affection and stuff. Like, feeding it, drink, giving it plenty to drink, um... Petting it, loving it, training it, all that stuff, and it'll earn you trainer points. Now, if you don't let your dog use the bathroom or anything like that while you're going on a walk with them, you don't get any trainer points. And I'm also here to show you the unlimited walks glitch as well. Um, uh, also, if you want an increased chance of getting the lucky collar, then I recommend you set the clock to a year ahead and go to St. Patrick's Day, which is on March 17th, for anyone who doesn't know. So, yeah. And it's also important that you train your dog and um, take care of your dog to earn, like, trainer points. See... Um, I got 2,730 points because I'm a semi-pro trainer. Then, I ha then again, I haven't touched this game since I got it for Christmas. And yeah, that's probably why I don't have that many trainer points that I used to. Um, anyway, I'm going to take my puppy out on a walk. But I've been playing this game for the past couple of days. And I really love this game. So I'm going to take Goldie out on a walk and show you... Um, the unlimited walks glitch. It really, um, if y'all don't know what it is, if y'all haven't played this game or touched in a long time, um, so let's try another walk. Ew, I got spit all over my screen. iPad screen. On my... All right. So. What I'm going to do is draw a root or route. I really don't care how it's pronounced. So we're going to draw it like this way. Ooh, hopefully I'll have enough stamina. Dang it. Okay, well, let's try again. I only have 15 minutes. Like it's a recording limit. So if I record past that, YouTube won't let me upload. So, yeah. I know. I wish I could get my account verified, too, but I can't. Okay. So, you want to mark it towards the park and then do that. Now... When I got the knit hat, I did not cheat to get it. I actually legitimately got it when I was taking Goldie on a walk yesterday. I mean, earlier today, and I freaked out. Um, I also have another rare item, which is the lucky collar, which is awesome. In order to get those, you gotta show your dog a lot of affection. It depends on how many trainer points you have. And it also depends on what day it is. Like, yeah. But I just... I did that glitch and I got the lucky collar, but um, when I took Goldie on like several walks earlier, like yesterday, um, 
I managed to get the lucky collar again, and I was really surprised. Oh, and if you really want to get rare gifts, don't tug on your dog's leash while you're taking them out and walk. Let them pee. Let them poop. I see videos of people not letting their dog go to the bathroom by tugging on their leash. You know, those Nintendo dogs videos. And I get so upset. Like, I don't comment on them. I know they're just virtual dogs. They have no feelings. But I love dogs, okay? And I hate seeing puppies being treated like that. Virtual or not. <laughs> I got a stick. Like, I really need one of those. Huh? Right, I'm recording a video. Do you mind? <sighs> Sorry, my Mimi's annoying. Um, anyway, like I said before, like you show your dog affection and stuff to take care of it. Don't talk on their leash. And yeah, that's just... I just hate it when people do that. Like, they don't let them go to the bathroom at all. Like, I tell you on my dog's leash, but I don't do it too much on him take her out on a walk only when we're about to go home or something I mean I don't really I hardly tug on her leash at all cause it's just really mean unless she has to go to the bathroom or something then I don't tug on her leash at all oh it's a dog it's not a present I was hoping it would be a present cause apparently this knit hat can get you all kinds of cool stuff you know, golems are cool. I dig big dogs. I like I like golden retrievers too. Um, I also played the one with the cats in it, the newest version of Nintendo Dogs, and I love that game too. It's really cute. I love the Pomeranians in it. I would love to have a Pomeranian, but I can't have a dog at all because um, we have cats and stuff, and I have a feeling that my cat, one of my cats, die would not like um, dogs in the house. Just saying. Um, but I've had a couple of dogs growing up as a kid. Um, I think the first one was probably, like, a husky or something. I don't remember, but she was a black and white dog. And I also had a black Labrador, too. They were both cute dogs. I miss them so much. But, yeah, I grew up with a couple of dogs when I was a kid. So, um, yeah. Um, but I mostly grew up around cats, but I love both cats and dogs. I love animals in general, so that's probably why. It's another dog. Okay, so the key to making sure your dogs get along, your puppy gets along with the other dogs, is to wait for the puppy to calm down before you encourage your dog to walk towards them. It's not easy to do, but you probably know it. Get a hang, uh, the hang of it. It's fun to see the effect that food can have on a dog. Not just food either, but the timing of the feeding. Right. Alright, so we're gonna try and... No, I don't really have enough time. So we're just gonna say bye-bye to Mimi and Angel. I don't know how to pronounce it. It sounds like a Japanese name to me. Come on, Goldie. Can you walk any faster, please? We're so far away from the park. <gasps> I would have gotten so mad if she missed that. Oh, I already have those. I wish people still play this game. And, um, like, people nearby me could, was still playing this. Because I probably would have given that to them. Hoping they would give me a clover clock or something. I know you can only get the um, clover clock if you take your dogs out on more walks and stuff, but... Oh, she has to poop. Lovely. Right on. Alright. There you go. Alright, alright. You can pee. Oh, wait. I guess she doesn't... Alright, and what do we got? Present. Another stick. <laughs> I don't need those. I'm not really a big fan of the common gifts in this game. Although they did get me somewhere when I first started, they don't now. Juice bottle. Great. <laughs> Might sell that for 50 cents. 
Okay, I'm sorry I'm talking on my dog's leash. Y'all are probably not happy that I'm doing that, but in all honesty, I'm kind of in a big hurry recording this because I have to take a shower in a little bit because I have somewhere I need to go tomorrow. And I only have 15 minutes to record this, so I'm kind of in a hurry right now. Okay, so with the unlimited box glitch, you want to change the collar. I'm going to change it to the lucky collar. Then you want to leave the park. Oh, sorry. Leave the park. Um, and hurry and walk back home. This is how I do it, because I like the walk lasting a little bit longer. But if you want... I'm sorry, I don't want to let you go pee right now. Come on, Goldie. We got hurry. This video could... Okay. I'm sorry, y'all are probably going to comment and say this is animal cruelty. For the record, I don't do this to Goldie all the time, so please don't get mad at me. I rare, I don't even talk on her leash at all. I'm just doing this because I'm in a hurry recording this, alright, y'all? Okay, she's happy. She's happy, that's great. So, after you do that, you'll want to turn off your game or just press home if you've got a 2DS or a 3DS. And open your game back up, and you should still all of the, you should still have the accessories you collected on your walk, and um, yeah, I mean that's how I get rare items. Though I rarely, I don't use this glitch a whole lot, but it's still a pretty cool glitch, and I recommend y'all should use it. So I hope some of the advice I gave in this video was helpful. Not just the glitch but the advice I gave in the video in general and yeah let me know what you guys thought of this video if you want to see um, uh, more videos of me playing this because I really love this game this game was my childhood and I still love it today it's really cute um, let me know in the comments below if you want to see more of Goldie I also have other dogs in the hotel if you want to see them too I have a beagle a shih tzu and all kinds of cute dogs I even have another golden retriever named Daisy I know I'm not very original because <laughs> there's a dog in the game or a name Daisy but I like the name okay so yeah if you guys want to see more videos of me playing this or the one with the cats because I have a few videos of me playing it, 10 dogs and cats as well um, let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys. Simon Curse Fan Girl out. Yeah, I really need to take a bath.